So I made this little desk toy and what it is is a shift register which um, has all of its inputs that are normally driven by another chip, a mic another, it's a, you know, like a microcontroller. Uh, instead of being driven by that, it's driven by these push buttons. Um, and the idea of this was to learn how shift registers work in a practical way because I'm trying to um, I'm trying to uh, make it a keyboard from a 1980s laptop work with USB and I'm going to need to know that. So I needed to do a practical circuit so I could get a better idea um, of how they work. And all of the outputs of the shift register are going to LEDs and they're different colors only because uh, Radio Shack doesn't sell good big packs of single colors and I was going to buy a bunch of packs. Actually I bought all the packs they had. so. Anyway, yeah, I'll show you how this works. Okay, so there's a power switch on the bottom. And I don't know if you can see that, but that little, this one is always on because, well, it's on when the button isn't pressed, but the rest of the LEDs by the buttons go on when you press them. So, um, there's three ones that, um, that are really important. You've got data and clock and latch. And um, whatever the state is, zero or one of the data button when the um, when the clock button goes high is um, is put into memory here. So I'll, I'll hold this down, hold the data down, and I'll press the clock. So now we've got um, we've got one high in memory here, and then this button here is latched, and we press that, well it bounces too, but um, but that goes out. Um, so, I mean, what, what bouncing is, is, um, when you press a button, um, it actually makes contact, um, and then maybe bounces a little bit and touches again, um, super fast, but, you know, slow enough where this picks up on it. Anyway, so then if we, we can clock another one and put, um, a zero into memory by just by pressing that, um, uh, clock when the data is low. And then we can output that, and we have a zero there, and moves those over. So put another one in, output it, put a zero in, output it, put zeros in, and just move them on down. Okay, uh, let's put a bunch of ones in, latch it. And um, so this one is like clear or something, I forget what they call it. On, oh, it's output enable, that's what they call it. And that just makes it go on and off. And then this one is um, to clear the memory, so I, I hold that, and then all the all the memory here uh, has been um, put to zero, but we still need to latch it before that'll go out. So we'll latch it now. It's gone. I thought maybe it would be a cool like um, like puzzle game, like maybe just ex people could experiment with it and just try pressing buttons. But I feel like that may take an awful long time. Maybe it wouldn't work as a puzzle. I don't know. But anyway, I think it's a sexy little desk toy. Check it out.